Imagine this, you're behind the wheel, gripping it tight, tires screeching, smoke billowing, and the car is sliding sideways. On purpose. This is drifting, the ultimate adrenaline rush. It's not just about chaos, it's precision, style, and control. So what does it take to make a machine dance like that? Buckle up because you're about to see. I'm Jay, and welcome to Define Garage. Whether it's raw power, the perfect balance, or a razor thin line between control and catastrophe, these cars are built to drift. Drifting isn't about speed, it's about control. It's about knowing exactly when to push your machine to its limit. When to ease off the throttle just enough to keep from spinning out, that's the main point of it. The drift isn't just a maneuver, it's a conversation between the car and the driver. For the audience, it's all smoke and tire screeching, but for the driver, it's about precision. You feel that? That rush only your driver can deliver? Yeah, that's what it's about. Let's talk about the cars. These aren't your everyday street cars, no. These are tuned beasts that are turbocharged, lightened, and balanced. Designed to do one thing and one thing only. Slide sideways with style. From the Icon Nissan 370Z to the legendary Toyota Supra, these machines are armed to the teeth with raw power and torque. But here's the thing. It's not only power that's under the hood. It's about balance, weight transfer, grip, or lack thereof that makes the car a perfect drift. Drifting isn't just about horsepower, it's about finesse, precision. A good drift is about knowing when to brake, when to steer, and when to floor. Timing is everything. When a driver nails that perfect entry, the feeling is electric. The car flows like water, balance on the edge of chaos, controlled by a very light touch. But make no mistake, even the best drivers start somewhere, pushing their limits, finding where the edge is, and where to control the chaos. Drifting is more than just a sport, it's a culture. It's nights spent tweaking engines, fine tuning suspension, and figuring out how to get a little bit more angle out of your car. It's about the community, the drivers, the crew, the fans, those who understand the art of drifting. It's the sound of engines roaring late into the night, the smell of rubber being burnt. It's about not just winning, it's about showing up pushing your car and your skills to the ultimate limit. The future of drifting. It's bigger, faster, and more competitive than ever. What started on mountains of Japan is now a global phenomenon. From the Formula Drift Championships to underground events, the world is hooked. New technologies are pushing the boundaries for lighter materials, more powerful engines, and tighter, more precise control systems. The future of drifting? It's only gonna get more extreme. One of the most essential tools in a drifter's arsenal is the handbrake. When you pull that lever, you're just not slowing down. You're locking the rear wheels, forcing the car to brake traction. The timing is everything. You pull too soon, you'll understeer. You pull too late, you might spin out. Drift isn't just about speed, it's about weight transfer. As you approach a corner, easing off the throttle or tapping the brakes shifts the car's weight forward. It's the momentum to initiate the drift. Shift too little, you won't get enough angle. Shift too much, you'll be fighting to keep control. Perfecting the throttle control is key. Drifting isn't just about getting sideways, it's about staying sideways. And to keep that perfect slide, you need to practice throttle control. Too much throttle, you'll spin out. Too little, you'll straighten up. The key, feathering the gas just right to maintain the perfect drift angle. Believe it or not, your tire pressure may make or break your drifting. Running slightly lower pressures in the rear tires gives you more grip, allowing for smoother transitions, but drop it too low and you'll lose and you'll slide. Experiment with the pressure to find that sweet spot for your setup. Drifting isn't about racing the shortest line. It's about finding the widest angle and using the entire track. To get the perfect drift, aim for a wide entry, hug the apex, and use the throttle to steer yourself out smoothly. A good line means better control, and better control means more style. Learn from your mistakes. Even the best drifters were once beginners. You're going to make mistakes, you'll spin out, you'll miss your angle, but each failure teaches you something new. It's all about pushing your limits and learning how to control the chaos. But in the end, drifting isn't just about cars, the track, or the technology. It's about the feeling, the connection between the man and the machine. Passion that drives you to the edge of control and holds you there. So the next time you see a car sliding sideways, just remember, it's more than just a trick. It's a dance. A beautifully controlled, adrenaline-fueled, high-octane dance. And now it's your turn. So, are you ready to learn how to drift? If this has got your heart racing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the crew. Who knows, maybe next time we'll see you at the track. I'm Jay, this is Defying Garage, I'll see you next time.